Hi, Doug Lowe here with Artisan Construction in Charlottesville, Virginia. Today, the idea is to save water and to possibly save some electrical energy by not having to heat that hot water. Uh, a typical sink, an, an older sink, might have a flow rate of two to three gallons a minute, um, but there are devices available. This is an aerator, and this device takes the water flow in this sink down to one and a half gallons per minute as a maximum flow rate instead of two gallons per minute with an older faucet. Um, these are really simple to change and I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing we have to do is remove the lower aerator. Now this one's a little bit tight so a simple tool that you may need is a pair of pliers like this and if you don't want to scratch up the chrome you can simply put a uh, a rag or a paper towel or something around it and apply gentle pressure to the faucet to get to the aerator to get it loose. So there's the old one. The rating on here it actually says it uses 2.2 gallons per minute. Now the new one as noted uses 1.5 gallons per minute and tighten it up by hand as much as you can and we're going to turn this on and you'll see that looks like a very ample flow rate but it's using quite a bit less water 1.5 gallons instead of 2.2 it's just that simple I think you can handle this change very easily okay we're going to show you another way to save uh, water and it's by changing out your shower head uh, most shower heads use a minimum of two gallons per minute uh, two to two and a half gallons per minute and um, we found a water flow that uh, uses a lot less water. Um, what we're going to do is just simply switch this out and show you how to do it. And uh, this should be something very simple you could do at home. The low flow shower device that we're going to add to this one, we also added one other feature that we found for $7.98 at the home um, supply store that actually has a light that comes on as the water it works off the pressure of the water flow coming through there so it's a really neat thing for seven dollars I don't know if you can find one locally or not to switch out the shower head we only need a few simple tools one is a pair of pliers actually one tool and we need some uh, prefer I prefer that you use something called Teflon tape this is like a white tape that goes on uh, after we uh, take the shower head loose you'll see me putting some of this on before I put the new shower head in this helps prevent leaks where it connects to the shower. Usually one or two gentle twists will get it loose enough and you can see that where this previous head was on here they also used the Teflon tape. But we're going to clean this up a little bit and put some fresh Teflon tape on there. You simply stretch it around the threads as you see me do here and you start twisting the new shower head onto there. You can do most of the tightening by hand. As you start getting to the end, though, it gets pretty tight. This particular shower head has a variety of settings that you can choose in, uh, for your water flow and for the stream. So it's a little nicer than the previous shower head, but it uses less water as the main, main element. So in this one, you get a light for free, and you get the shower with less water flow, but it should be actually a better shower than the previous one. There's a number of other things you could employ, but these are the very simple things you can probably do by yourself. Uh, again, if you have any doubts about it, you don't want to cause leaks, those kind of things, uh, I would encourage you to call a professional, but otherwise you can probably do most of these things yourself.